I want to talk about Saw for a minute. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. The first thing I saw on my Twitter was Injustice 2 DLC characters. Uh oh, we got a high income. But, um, yeah. Red Hood, Starfire, which that's a good addition, and Sub Zero. Why are you wasting Mortal Kombat characters? That could have been anybody else. And I saw Raiden in, in, in a Shadow Silhouette, too. So you got two Mortal Kombat characters gonna be in this game. Another round you have not learned. Scorpion was nasty in Injustice 1. Like, like it was kind of hard to beat until they nerfed him and patched him. This is going to be the same thing when Sub-Zero Raiden come out. They still haven't learned their lesson! Mike! Another round, what are you doing? Stupid! I know I'm not getting this game on release day. I'm going to wait until the price go down. Or they have like a Game of the Year edition. Do you know the answer? I don't even know. Wait, that looks familiar. Is that Goan Ishikawa? I'm asking Boris. <laughs> they gotta be as the uh, answer. Let me go with him. This is it. Correct. Oh, oh yeah, that does. That did look familiar. Yeah, I know my Samurai Warriors. This is a Dynasty Warriors Warriors fan. Fanatic, right here, you're talking to. Right now. I know my stuff. I know my Japanese warlords and my Chinese warlords. Don't get me started on Dynasty Warriors. Can't wait for Dynasty Warriors 9. Best believe I'm gonna stream that. All right. Yeah, back to Injustice 2. Us. It's going to be a good game, but like I said, the other round is going to repeat the same thing they did with MKX. They're going to patch it to death. I'll get it when there's like 20 patches within the game. Yep. How about that? Because this is ridiculous. I'm also going to be into Tekken 7 anyway, so I'm, there's no point in me getting it on release date and I'm not going to really touch it. So that's it. That's all I gotta say about that.